But first, a closer look at that hail damage. Yeah, some of the pellets were nearly the size of golf balls, forcing some businesses to temporarily close. Let's get right to Fox News' Hillary Golson. She's live from Howell, where a lot of that hazardous hail fell. And Hillary, how bad was it? Yeah, this is really incredible. I mean, it just gives you an idea of how tempestuous the storm could be, that there is, in fact, still some hail left here, and that was after falling 24 hours ago, now more than 24 hours ago. Uh, it, it's incredible. They experienced about three inches of hail and then three inches of rain. So for this farmer, He's not only dealing with the aftermath of that, but the flooding, so he can't even plant his crops for a whole week. It's been devastating for him, ruinous, and it just shows you how formidable Mother Nature can really be. Basically, a nasty hailstorm came through. Um, about 4.45 yesterday, a storm came out of nowhere, and I'd say within 15 minutes, we had three inches of hail laying on the ground. So it totally devastated every crop I have. Nasty is the way to describe Mother Nature sometimes. The hail, magnificent to behold and devastating in effect for Bentley Lake Farms in Howell. 85 acres of crops totally destroyed. What types of crops? Oh, every type you can think of. I mean, sweet corn, tomatoes, melons, potatoes, onions, cucumbers, cabbage, broccoli, green beans. I, I grow every time a vegetable there is. Do you have insurance? No. Wow. So uh, what will this mean for you financially? Uh, obviously, it's a big hit in my back pocket, but I'm, I'll just have to recover from it. I'm going to replant what I can. It's too late to plant a lot of things. He estimates $500,000 worth of crops at retail price completely obliterated. I'm not looking for sympathy or looking for help from anyone. I mean, I pre we've had a lot of people call us up and offer to help any way they can. A couple of people said they want to start a GoFundMe page. I told them absolutely not. The community has been great to him and they are pulling together. It's as if on every green, 50,000 golf balls hit it all at one time. And here's a view from the air of Timber Trace Golf Club in Pickney. The course hit by the same unexpected and intense hailstorm, resulting in damage to the turf. They decided to close the course on Friday and Saturday to assess and repair. But they're seeing a silver lining. And this weekend with Father's Day coming up is our busiest single day of the year. Bad things happen and, you know, there's no, nobody hurt. And so we got some property damage. It's all things that we can fix. And, you know, we all have a good attitude. We're going to work hard. We're going to get back to where it was. And CJ says about 30 miles away from here, he's got uh, close to 30 acres of corn that might have been damaged by the storm, but he's still assessing that at this point. Um, we're going to have more from Michigan State Police coming up at 6 o'clock, who also had some damage from the storm in an unusual way. Of course, we'll bring you that coming up tonight at 6. For now, we're live in Howell. I'm Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News. Yeah, when you have hail that bad, uh, you, you just are so grateful, so thankful that nobody was hurt because we had so much going on yesterday. Tornado warnings in Monroe Township, the hail where you are. We just are so thankful that nobody was injured. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, Michigan State Police uh, spoke with us just a little bit earlier, and they said that to their knowledge, there have been no reported injuries, which is just miraculous. And of course, that's what we're thankful for. Whenever you have property damage, you can rebuild. And I'm, I'm always amazed by the spirit of people in these situations. It's incredible. They say they're going to push on. They will not be beaten by Mother Nature. I think that is certainly something of a reminder for all of us, Roop. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's one thing. It's not going to pick up and leave. You're going to rebuild and do what you got to do right there. All right, Hillary Golson for us live. Thank you.